Hello model car fans, welcome to the Muscle Car Modeler, my name is Ralph. And here I'm getting finished up on my uh, 69 Baldwin Motion Corvette, the SS427, that's pretty much built right out of the box from Ravel. And uh, if you saw my last video, I painted the, the stripes. And then here I've uh, finished, uh, finished it up and clear coated it. But a couple of things that I did um, that were off camera, but once you pull the masking off, um, it'll leave a tiny little raised lip that you can feel. And um, while they're still kind of there, I, I sanded them down a little bit. So I took these uh, polishing pads. There's just a couple of different ones and different grits. And uh, um, color sanded them just across to bring the lips down. And here's the different grits. This is from Micro Mesh. But I use those to to sand down the, the lips and smooth it down just a little bit, but not, not real aggressive, just basically knocking the, the thing down because I'm burying it in the clear a little bit. So I use that to knock them down. And then in, in some of the other areas, uh, if you saw, I had overspray. So I had taken, I just have this stuff, scratch and scroll remover from Turtle Wax. This is just something cheap I bought at Walmart. Um, and I've used this before and I get a little bit of uh, overspray in a couple areas. And I used a Q-tip or even a polishing cloth to um, rub it and get the the area to, to come off. But a little tip for you guys. If you look for any of these polishing compounds or swirl remover, whatever, make sure it doesn't have any silicone or silica in it. So when you look at the, the ingredients or what's in it, the problem with silicone or silica is um, paint won't stick to it. So if it has that and you plan on doing a layer of paint on it, which I, I do, you know, I did the color sanding, polished some of the areas and cleaned up some of the overspray with it um, before I put the clear coat on. And then I put a few of the decals on. You can see the SS427 and the door handles, the Stingray emblems, you know, the, the marker lights. Those are all decals. And even the Corvette lettering on the back here, if you can see it, it's a, a silver decal, uh, all from Ravel. So I put all those on and then put the clear on top of it. But you got to make sure that, you know, whatever compound you're using, if it has silic silica in it or silicone, um, clear doesn't stick to it, it'll fisheye. And uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt. So just make sure you're using that kind of stuff. But uh, I got the, you know, as you can see, I got the bare metal foil on, um, the windows in. I didn't really polish this one out. It's pretty much as I sprayed the clear on. And then I blacked out the whole inside. Got the inner fenders mounted, so the hood's mounted and pivoting, um, all the glasses in. It's pretty much ready to go. I got the taillights and the bumpers. I got a few decals left to do, the license plate and then the decals that go on the windows. Um, I decided that I'm going to put them on the windows even though they're a little outrageous and big. And then I've got some lint and stuff that have gotten on here. But this body is pretty much ready to go together. A uh, little tip on the body, and I brought my other one out, uh, a spare parts kit um, the hood on these here's the hood I painted that I didn't cut the hole in because I realized I wanted to do that after I painted it but I, I, I talked about this before you see how the body is molded it's got a sharp 90 degree right here on both sides it makes it really hard to get this hood to get in there because it hits the hood when you try and do it so if you can see it's hitting the hood there and you pretty much got to force it. Well, you run the risk of chipping the paint right here and getting it to work. But once you get it past that, see it snaps and you're there. But if you're going to take your hood off and on multiple times, it's hard to get it past that too. You pretty much got to bend it or flex it or pull it um, as far as assembly goes. Once it's glued in and those inner fenders are glued in, you really can't move it. But what I've done is I've sanded this, taken the 90 degree out and just tapered it, sanded it. To her about right about here and I'll taper it right into the fender that way the hood will slide in and out without hitting both of those and it makes it a whole lot easier to install the hood and you don't risk chipping the paint or damaging it um, I, I mentioned that before but that's just one of the assembly really the only assembly thing that I run into with this kit as this is the third one of these I'm building I should say um, and, and I've got many more but I haven't done a whole lot of this body style Stingray, even though I really like the car. But uh, this one's coming along. Um, finished the 
the interior. So I got that uh, detailed out and got the decals in the gauges there and um, just semi-gloss black. Didn't really add anything serious. This is pretty much an out-of-the-box build. But uh, I got a few things still to assemble, but this thing's going to go together. So I will update this and you will see the finished product uh, soon on it. So for that, uh, stay tuned. Well, here is my completed uh, Baldwin Motion SS427 Corvette, the Ravel kit. Built mostly out of the box. I mean, it r really is out of the box other than painting the stripes and and cutting the, the hood scoop actually open so you can see in it which the real cars were. Um, but researching this car, and very confusing car to research. Um, this one being technically a 69, but Baldwin Motion started to offer um, their Corvettes in 68. Hopped up Corvettes with the factory warranty. So they had a few different models. They started with the, the SS427, which was the, the step up from the regular Corvette. Um, so they did a dyno tune to the engine and a few other things, which um, this is this is 69 is a little bit different. And each one of them was kind of different, and it's really confusing. So they had the SS427. Then they had the Mark II or Mark III. I've seen it referred to as both, but that one really didn't uh, sell too well, and it was only in 68. And in 69, they, they dropped that one. And... I understand there aren't any known uh, examples still around or um, if there are they're hidden away and then uh, then they had the the phase 3 SS 427 which is mostly what this one is representing here for 68 but for 69 they dropped the mark 2 or mark 3 um, most of the literature says mark 3 but in 69 Baldwin motion or motion performance offered the SS427, the Phase 3 SS427, which is what this one is representing. The, the Phase 3 has all got this hood. Um, that's the distinguishing feature of the Phase 3. And then they went with the Phase 3 uh, GT, which is my resin body with all the custom stuff. That was in 69, but that was the pinnacle. This is kind of the, um, the mid-level. It's the Phase 3, guaranteed to do 160 miles an hour, which was part of the, the package. And, uh, but they didn't really do a whole lot of body stuff. It was mainly the hood. They would put the stripes on them. And this one is kind of a, a duplicate of one of the cars that was actually built. Um, so, uh, uh, you know, since Ravel did it, and I pretty much did it box stock, although it really shouldn't have um, the Dino Tune cars, they would leave the tri power on them. But the Phase 3s, they would take them off and put... Um, the 850 CFM four barrels. So, but I pretty much left this one as as Ravel did with the the tricarb 435 horse 427, and uh, just uh, I had some fun with it. I didn't wire it or anything on this one. I just used all of the kit supplied parts, the kit supplied wheels and tires, and uh, the whole underside. So this thing came together um, really really nicely, and really didn't have any issues with it. Especially, you know, for one that I was going to uh, build eventually and my resin body got me excited about building this one. And while I'm still working on that Phase 3 GT, this one just went together really well and really nicely. And I'm really stoked about how the, the stripes and the paint came out. So she's, she's looking really good. So I had to get a little excited and get it finished. Um, side pipes came out nice. I put some black wash on the ribs there to make it stand out a little bit, give it a little bit more detail. And a little blacking out here and there. Most of this is actually decals. The um, emblem here, the SS427s, which I should have just sanded them off because they don't quite register with what's molded in the hood. But the Stingray molds really well. And then even the, the Corvette lettering on the back is uh, Ravel's decal. And of course the SS427 I had to put on there. And then the Baldwin Motion stickers, which are... I, I think those are a little ridiculously huge. I don't think the, the real car stickers were like that. And I really couldn't see any pictures of the real car stickers. But um, loving the way this one came out. And then I got a few more you know, of these to do. So I got a ton of Corvette model kits to build. 
But i um, really happy with the way this one came out, especially the stripes. Just so excited about how the stripes came out. So it's one of the reasons why I, you know, I have a Baldwin Motion Camaro, one of the 69 Camaros. And I used the decal and painted the back half white. It didn't come out very well. Um, I think I still have that car. Oh, yeah, I do. I still have that car. And I'll, I'll eventually show that, but I'll build a replacement. But now that uh, I, I got the stripes on this one done to, to a, a standard that I have never really attempted before. And uh, so I, I you know, acquired a new skill so that I can do that. But uh, really happy with the way this one came out, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. It was kind of a quick build, but um, just a couple little tweaks, and uh, I, I'm really happy with the way it came out. So uh, those of you, thank you for uh, watching and tuning in and hitting that bell button and subscribing and sharing my videos. And thank you very much for all your comments and everything. I, I really appreciate them. So uh, stay tuned, and I will see you next Saturday. You guys have a wonderful day.